Aloha, Bridge Kids. That means hello in Hawaiian. Happy Sunday, Miss Lindsay here. I am so excited to get started on our island theme summer series, Ohana. Ohana means family. And one of God's greatest gifts to us is family. In this series, we're gonna learn all about what God wants for our families and how we can be part of his family. It's going to be so much fun, it's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait to get started. But before we do, let's go over all of our island rules. All right, Bridge Kids, our island rules are simple, just like life on the island. Number one, be kind. Number two, be safe. And most importantly, number three, have fun. All right, Bridge Kids, you ready? Let's go. What better way to start our service than with some worship? So it's time to stand up, dance, get those wiggles out, and worship. I want to hear you sing along with the words on the screen. Clap your hands. Come on, let's praise Jesus together. Everybody rock it on your feet. 
I say promise, you say maker, promise, maker, promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper, promise, keeper, promise, keeper. I say promise, you say maker, promise, maker, promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper, promise, keeper, promise, keeper. It says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he loves me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he loves me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. Herod Crew, it's Amelia and Nicole. Hey Amelia, wanna tell everyone what our need to know is? God wants my family to obey him. That's a good one. Do you know what God means when he says obey? Probably listen to his instructions. Yes, but obeying is not just about listening. It's doing what is instructed even though you don't understand why. Oh, I get it. Obeying is not just about our actions, but our attitudes too. That's right. God wants our family to obey him even when we don't understand all the details. Obeying God sounds a lot like faith. It is. For example, our island friend Lono left us a list of instructions to stay safe during the storm that's coming. Look. Wow, that's a big list, but I don't understand. It's a beautiful sunny day. I know, but our island friends are telling us to get ready for the storm. So I think we should listen. Aloha, my friends. It is good to see you out enjoying this beautiful island day. But be mindful, the winds from east are coming and bringing dark storm clouds this afternoon. You know, I've been through many storms here on the island, and it was your papua who taught me how to keep everyone safe by being prepared. It is part of the reason he was such a great lifeguard. Now, about this crazy list your papua left you, you know, papua always has great reason for asking someone to do something for him. Even when it seems like it doesn't make sense, you should obey. In fact, this reminds me of a story in the Bible about a man named Noah. Noah lived in a time where people were so full of evil that God knew something needed to happen. Now, Noah was different. In fact, he was the only person who lived right and pleased God. So God made a plan to save Noah and his family for what he was about to do. God told Noah that he was going to send a huge flood to destroy the earth and that Noah needed to start building a really giant boat. Noah followed God's instruction to make the boat 45 feet high, 75 feet wide, and 450 feet long. This was the only way the boat would be big enough to feed Noah's family and two of every kind of animal on earth. This might have seemed like crazy instructions, but didn't stop Noah from obeying God. Once he was finished, he went into the boat with his family and brought each kind of pair of lions, lambs, butterflies, bluebirds, bears, elephants, and every other kind of animal inside with them just as the rain started to fall. For 40 days and 40 nights, water gushed from left and right and up and down. It was a good thing Noah obeyed all God's instructions because he was able to keep his family and all the animals safe. Water flooded the earth for 150 days. God sent a wind to sweep over the earth and the water began to go down. The rain stopped falling from the sky and the water continued to go down. It wasn't long until the boat landed on the top of Mount Ararat. Noah sent a white dove out to see if the water had gone away. The dove came back because there were no place to land. A short time later, Noah sent the same dove out and returned with a leaf from an olive tree in its beak. Then, seven days later, Noah sent the dove out again, but this time, he didn't come back at all. That meant all the water was gone. 
Gato, knowing his family that the time had come for them to leave the boat, God made a promise that he would never send another flood to destroy the whole earth again. God placed a rainbow in the clouds as a sign of his promise. Every time you see a rainbow in the sky, you can remember that promise is true for you today because Noah's family obeyed God. How cool is it that even though God was telling Noah to do something kind of crazy, he listened to God and obeyed him. And because he obeyed, his entire family and all the animals were safe from the flood. Just like Noah listened to God and obeyed, your family should remember to obey too. Well, it looks like the sky will be getting angry very soon. But don't worry, there's always a rainbow on the other side. Aloha! In our Bible story, we learn that God gave Noah very detailed instructions on how to build the ark. God promised Noah that if he obeyed, God would keep his family safe and never bring a flood like that again. Noah obeyed God's instructions because Noah loved God very much. God also wants our families to obey him, and that's what our need to know is today. Let's say it together. God wants my family to obey him. Good job, Road Crew. Our memory verse this series is probably one of my favorites because it talks about how we are to love others. It comes from the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10 and it says this, love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. It's a really good one. So let's repeat it after me. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Great job, road crew. Do you know what it means to honor someone? It means to show respect or it means to show love that's not always deserved. And it's so important that we look at every single person on this earth as our brothers and sisters in Christ, because we share a heavenly father. We are all one giant Ohana. Bridge kids, I hope you enjoyed today's need to know as much as I did. Like I said earlier, one of God's greatest gifts to us is Ohana. Did you know that we are all one big giant Ohana? That's right, together we are all one big family. Even though we don't live in the same home and share parents, all have the same color skin, look alike, speak the same language, we're all different. But because of God, we are all one big giant Ohana. So I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate than to sing a song all about Ohana. So let's stand up, let's sing together, and let's thank God for his gift of Ohana. our father good good father and we're all his sons and daughters we are brothers we are sisters we are family we can always stick together though we're different from each other we are brothers we are sisters we are family we're god's family loving and honoring we're not perfect but you'll see that we are family God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. And God loves me and God loves you. In his family, there is room for our brothers, for our sisters. We are family. Let's forgive and get along, cause together we are strong. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. 
We're God's family, nothing in honor. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. But you'll see that we are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect But you'll see that we are family